Hi, my name is Lynn. Today we are making whole grain garlic herb rolls. You are gonna love these. All right, first we're gonna add one tablespoon of active yeast, a quarter cup of warm water. Don't, don't make it hot because if it's hot, it's going to kill the yeast. So just warm water so you can touch it and it feels nice and warm. And then I'm gonna add some sugar to activate the yeast. So I do about, about two tablespoons. We're gonna stir it up and let it sit for a minute and let it get foamy. And then we'll add our next ingredients. All right, it looks like my yeast is nice and activated, so now I'm gonna add some more ingredients. So we have, we have um, Italian seasonings. You can use any kind of seasonings that is your favorite, like maybe um, rosemary might be delicious or something like that, but I'm kind of lazy. So Italian seasoning has a lot of seasonings in there, so I use that. And I got some garlic, I got minced garlic, and I got some salt, and I'll have the ingredients in, the, in my recipe. You just put this in here. I'm gonna add some tahini. I use tahini instead of oil because tahini has so much more um, nutrients and stuff in there and very, very little saturated fat. So, and it really gives it a super depth of flavor. It really just brings out the whole grain rolls. And then I'm gonna throw in a half a cup of my almond milk. All right, I'm gonna get this stirred up real quick and then we'll add the flour. All right, let's start adding some flour. I went ahead and mixed my whole grain and my white bread flour together. So I'm just doing a half a cup at a time. I'm gonna stir it in until it gets a good consistency. And I'll show you what that looks like when I get there, okay? All right, so it's getting where I can't really stir in any more of the flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plop it out on my countertop here. and you get to play with your hands. I'm gonna start like mixing it in this way until I get, I get all the flour mixed in. I'm gonna keep adding a little bit more if it's still sticky until it's no longer sticky, but it's still kind of a soft dough. Hmm. We're almost there, but not quite. It's still like sticky to touch and it's like sticking to my thing. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour and keep going. <laughs> All right, so I like the way it feels. It's feeling good. It's not sticky, but it's really soft. And I just wanna show you guys how much I had left over. So I have about a quarter cup total flour, so like two tablespoons of the white and two tablespoons of whole grain. But um, I live here in Colorado. It's super dry here, so I find that I don't use as much flour. If I was back at home in Florida, um, I'd have to use it all, maybe even a little bit more because there's a lot of humidity in the air, so. Just a little thing to keep in mind. All right, so I got a bowl here. I got a little oil in there. I'm just gonna plop it in, cover it up. And I have, my oven is neat. It has like a little bread proofing button, but really you just gotta put it in like some kind of warm environment and let it sit for an hour, maybe 45 minutes an hour, depends on how warm it is, until it doubles, all right? It has doubled. So now it's time to roll them out. So get clean hands, punch it down. That's the fun part. And then you just, um, if you have a certain number you need, you can like take a knife and cut them into sections and um, roll it out that way. I'm just gonna roll them out, stick them on a piece of parchment paper. Parchment paper is, um, parchment, pa parchment paper. Parchment paper is amazing. It like, you don't have to use oil or anything. Nothing sticks to it. I just love it. It's like my kitchen staple. All right, so I'm gonna roll all these out and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I love the garlic, 
and the herbs, it's very good.